Welcome to part 16. Well, it's certainly coming on and we've got to the covering stage. This is my least favourite part. I do not enjoy covering. I never have enjoyed covering. But it's something we all have to do and nobody's going to do it for me. So we have to crack on. So here's the white film that they have supplied. I haven't gone out and bought some extra white because uh, they only want you to do the, the rudder. So that's, let's see if we can do it without messing it up. So uh, now just be advised that if you're unfamiliar with covering that uh, this side is a film that peels off and underneath is uh, a glue. Um, it's not particularly tacky, but when you heat it up, it, it, it does become quite tacky. A bit like me and my jokes, really. <sighs> anyway, so remember that you are going to see this shiny bit on the outside and the dullest side on the inside. So you need to make a right turn it over and a left. It's advisable to get some scissors. Here's some scissors I prepared earlier. And just part those. Now, obviously you, you have to be a little bit generous when you're cutting these things out because if you cut them too close to the edge, you won't be able to handle it. And this, uh, this film shrinks and you'll be doing yourself no favours by putting it right up to the edge. Trust me on that one. So we're going to go around the edge and you're leaving approximately 20 millimetres. It should be enough for your knees and wants. Okay, I'll put that in the bin. And same with the other side. There you go. Put it around like that. It hasn't got to be artwork or anything like that. Of course, uh, if you're under the age of 50, make sure you have an adult with you. Because we are sharp. Now then, there you go. And that's that there ready. Now what you're going to need is a sealing iron, which I have one here and ideally something to rest it on that won't melt and this is my ceiling iron here this is what I've got a McGregor ceiling iron and I paid 17 pounds bar a penny for that I don't know how long I've had this had it a long, long time. Anyway, they're around about the same price. So that's heating up. And I just, yes, I can feel that. You can always use this to iron shirts for midges, I suppose. Anyway, so I have this, I took it up to setting number three. Uh, this is just to tack it on. I mean, obviously when you apply the heat, you want a little bit lower. So, we're going to do the right hand side. So remember the shiny side is the side that goes on the outside, the dull side and the inside. And what you need to do is part the film, if you can. Let's have a look at something sharp. Ah, yes, now, before you even start doing all of this stuff, change your blades, because you need a very sharp blade and believe it or not, these blades will um, go blunt very, very quickly. Very, very quick. So there you go. So the, my thumb is on the glue side. So I'll just place that under there like that. Okay. Now, remember that iron is hot. It is going to burn you if you are careless so number rule number one don't be careless okay so we need to start let's say at let's say at the top so there's the top okay 
and you just want to tuck it down like that. Tuck it down. And I can feel that's taken. Now you want to keep this as tight as you can get it. So this is where you're folding things over and trying to hold them at the same time. And that's usually where you get burned. And I always get burned. Don't I? Yes, I do. And then put all that around. Now, in real life, they would have used like a linen and they would have applied a shrinking dope. So in effect, what you're doing is um, near enough, like a real build. So, because you are actually you're building an airplane. It's it's like the real, just like the real thing. You know, but it's just smaller. And you really should think of it that way, because that's exactly what you're doing. And you're more or less using the same methods that we used originally when obviously they didn't have shrink film. If they had, I suggest they might have used it. I know that some of the moon landings, the lunar landing module, parts of it was like a millimetre thick. It was like, they had like foil. And uh, so it's not such a stupid idea, really. Anyway, of course, the real ones on the moon. <laughs> well, the leg parts are anyway. Allegedly, because it never happened. It was a big fake. So some say. And it's getting close now to going around the whole edge. So I just run the iron around the edge. Try to keep it as taut as you can. Oh dear. There we go. Try to keep the creases out as much as you can. So the more you stretch it, the less work you'll have later. But obviously this is um, an awkward shape. Yeah. So all these wrinkles have got to come out. Well, let's get the sides on, stuck down. To get this right, you know, first time, it, it, it does take, take a bit of practice and it depends on how much of a perfectionist you are. It's, uh, we're having a bit of a heat wave at the moment and having this iron on up to a point is a little uncomfortable. I don't unfortunately have any uh, air conditioning in here. That would be nice wouldn't it? Now, I'm pretty sure there's some people watching this thinking you don't do it like that. <laughs> there are plenty of people on YouTube that will show you how to do this better than I. Because I don't profess to be good at covering, I, I really and I really don't enjoy doing it. So there we are, that's that's on. And you make sure you get a, a sharp knife. Leave about, I don't know, 
two three millimeters I just gently 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 go around the edge if you can't I know I'm not doing it at the moment but try and go in the same direction I've never enjoyed covering some people like it each to their own it's difficult to get right first time um, but it's just a case of practice really the more you do it the better you get at it except in my case but anyway oh I'm not doing the camera a bit properly so I apologize for that I was actually looking at what I was doing which is usually a good idea when you've got a sharp knife in your hand you just you got to make sure that your knife is sharp there's, there's no two ways about it and try and try and pull it as you know pull it towards as much as you, you know, got like lots. Just, this makes it easier to cut as well. I'll show you why in just a minute. Oh, I'll have to go the opposite direction now. There you go. So it's becoming just that little bit more like it should be. Not saying much because I'm concentrating on weighing it up between not ruining it and not cutting my finger off. So there's the excess gone. Now when you come to something like this you need to cut a 45 there and in these slots just cut a little line and a 45 there now then this is the part where we go back around the edge so now if i do go out of slightly out of shot and i'll try not to i promise you it's because i'm not looking through the viewfinder of the camera and the reason being is that this iron is extremely hot and I really really don't want to burn myself When I was a child, we used to cover these in tissue. Of course, you were fairly limited at the tissue you could use, whatever you could get. But if you do cover it in tissue, I, I can assure you that um, using genuine Japanese tissue is uh, probably a good idea. Now, let's see what we can do about this. happy about this bit because it's folded over see once it folds over there's not much you can do about it and now you've got the fiddly bits let's see where's my knife and you just gotta try and the, just try and do the best that you can do I'm pretty sure there's some smart ass out there who's got some super duper tool that they may have even constructed themselves. Handmade. So they're not letting on about. Anyway. Oh, 
All about sharing the love, isn't it? Nice. So we could probably make that look a lot better on the and put the other side on. Don't be tempted to shrink this in and it's entirely just yet until you've got the other side on. You'll very probably warp it for a start. See there's a mistake there look see. Just have to cut that out and see if I can put it right with the, the next piece. So put that on there. Now where's my knife gone? What we've got to do now is just ever so carefully just trim that off. Now what you don't want to do is dig into the balsa. You don't want to do that. You just trim it off. There's no special way of doing this. And sometimes tweezers come in handy. Now and then. If your sharp, if your knife is not sharp, this will become very, very difficult to do. There we are. I should say your blade. That's bad English, isn't it? If your blade is not sharp. There you go. So the neater you can make it the easier it will become. So I've got a feeling this video is going to take up be taken up just with a rudder. finger then. You've got to be so careful. You really really have. Because you, this iron burns you. It's, it's going to blooming hurt. Right, let's have a look at the other side. So you can see there's wrinkles in it. Well that's okay because when we heat that up when we finish those wrinkles will go unlike on my skin. You ever notice that fat pet people tend not to be very wrinkly? <laughs> yeah. Right. There we go. An itchy hand. Right. Now, last chance corral to get this right. Okay. I'm going to start at the top. Now there's no particular reason why I'm starting at the top. I just thought that I would. Now, as I said, there's going to be people on YouTube who will probably show you how to whoop, do this a lot better than I. Well, I don't actually watch a lot of stuff on YouTube because you know what? I haven't got time. I simply don't have the time. Very busy chap. I'm never bored because there's always something to do. If you're bored, you haven't got enough stress in your life. As I said, I'm not looking through the viewfinder, so you know, the odd times I will not have everything in shot. Which I apologise, but my health and safety is, uh, I'm very sorry to say, more important than your viewing. Okay, 
okay so we're getting close to sealing it all the way around see it's uh, you got to be careful see this gun struck funny again isn't it anyway let's see if we can get this awkward bit here Now the hope is, although it doesn't look very nice right now, it will come right. I think it's advisable to have some spare film because if you don't do it right, you know what, just rip it off and do it again. Don't be afraid to rip it off start all over again because every time you apply it and rip it off and start again you get it better and better and better don't do this if you're not in the mood for doing it um, because you'll, you'll tend to rush it and if you rush it well you're going to get yourself in the right old turbinator Okay, so the fiddly bits, oh no, 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 Where, how has that happened? How has that happened? Never mind, that's come right. So we're now going to trim that. And again, you want to make sure your blade is nice and sharp. wise to try at least well at least try to cut away from yourself I know sometimes that would seem difficult but if you can manage it do your best to do it he says turning his knife around Sometimes it's, you need a third hand, you'd have to have a very, very keen and understanding, well, I'm going to say wife, I know it's uh, politically correct to say partner, but you know what, if you're offended I really couldn't give her my goose cuss, cry as much as you want. Starting to look like something. Starting being the operative word. 
I am trying to keep this in view as much as I can. But as I said, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to hurt myself. Which may be, you know, for your amusement. But uh, I'm not Tom Cruise. He must get hurt. Because I know he does some of his own stunts. He must get hurt. But then again, if you're earning like, you know, millions and millions and millions, it's probably worth a pop. He has a, a helicopter license and a aircraft license, airplane license. I think in his latest film, that Mustang, I think that's actually his Mustang. And he is actually flying it. Fair play to him. Well, actually, I wonder why they pay them all that money thinking about it. A bit like footballers, I've always wondered why they pay them so much. Still, I suppose they only pay them as much as the fans will pay for the tickets. Right, so. We're at that stage, I think. Try and get rid of the bits. Because they do tend to stick to something you don't notice. And as soon as the, the look of your finish. Now I'm going to try and slice off not my finger but the edge I don't think I will edit any of this. I bet there's one or two out there shouting, you don't know me like that. That's all right, I don't mind. I didn't say I was good at it. That's my excuse. Yes, actually, that's probably a good thing to say. I did not say that I was good at it. Right. Now then, how to get this right. We don't want to do it like that. Now let's see what we can do with this now. Oh dear, what's that? How's that? How has that occurred? There you go. Another piece there. Look. You see what I mean? You got to. You got to get. Make sure you get rid of the pieces because they will stick everywhere. And if you're not careful, they'll ruin the whole thing and you've heated it up. Let me have the camera over. And they only give you just about enough to cover this, this rudder. Um, and as I said, you know, there's going to be times you think, I'm going to scrap that. And recover it. Know how many minutes we're up to? As I said, I am. 
doing my best not to burn myself because there's no way I am going to do this while looking through the lens. I want to look at it with my own true eyes. see if we can trim this now. Yeah. There we go. scrap it right away it will cling on okay so let's see what's left you can't see um results of some people's work and you just think wow how on earth do they get as good as that well like I say you know some of the hanger chats they don't show you the failures which is what I'm all about because I'm good at failing so I might as well excel at it too great is it okay now let's see what we can do with that if it's not always totally in shot I'll say again and again I'm trying not to burn myself and now I'm not going to take one for the team but you can if you like Right, let's go for the big one. See that little piece there? 
What's going on with that? I have got the feeling she's going to take up the whole part 16. You must have the patience of the saint if you're still watching this. Now they suggest that you leave the hinges in to do this. I'm not doing that. So it's your choice. Uh, you do it. Well, this is my preferred way. Oh, ooh, nearly. Nearly had me there. Now what I may do is now shrink the film uh, because that will then highlight anything I've missed. Only had my finger then. Right, so what we're going to do now, turn it down slightly and very, very carefully put the suck on it. And I mean carefully. Okay, I'm going to hold that string in my finger. Now, observe. You ready? Circular motions are good. Now I have to say that this feels very hot in my hand. Okay. So 
so now I can see some of the imperfections. Of course, you can re shrink this. later and don't forget that oh I nearly stabbed myself in my knife then and it was on my wrist it was a pain you die you bastard anyway um, you won't see much of the imperfections around the hinges because you'll have the hinges on them and they will hide them for you now the better the preparation of the wood underneath the better the overall finish but you can't always see that until you put the skin on and being as I haven't got any more white I can't rip it off and change it, so I'm going to have to go with whatever I've done. Okay, so I'm going to put that over there, to one side, that to one side, and that to one side. Now, let's see, have I lost, lost my hinges? Pin that goes in the middle. Some people might call it a key post. Yeah. I can't remember how I did this if I'm being honest. Yeah. I really can't see any reason not to take the hinges out. It's always food. Oh, it does help you pull the thing back a bit. Aha! There you go. Right, okay, it seems to have stuck to itself here. But it's too late to do anything about it now. Well, unless there's, you know, some way. But your hinges are on. That's the rudder covered. So I'm going to say love you and leave you there and I'll be doing the tail plane next and hopefully I can edit it down so it's not so dull and boring. But I just thought I'd just do it straight off unedited. Really, you know, and why not? So thank you for being patient. Um, and I, that's been done in real time. I've not practiced it. Um, and, you know, I, I did, I'm not saying I'm good at this skinning up and I've never enjoyed it. Uh, but you know you've got to do it so that's what it all turns out like and like I said once these hinges are on to the fuse large you're not going to see any mess around there uh, and trust me from 100 feet away uh, even less so so there you go that's the rudder see you in part 17